These are the Oyamel fir forests of central Mexico. This unique alpine habitat is a relic from a time when the earth was cooler and wetter. Now, only 2% of the original fir trees remain. Their boughs are heavy, but not with leaves, with millions of monarch butterflies. These individuals belong to a super generation, survivors of an incredible 3,000 mile journey that began in Canada and the Northern United States. They arrived five months ago and have remained motionless through the winter in a state of dormancy. Like a hibernating bear, they require the warmth of spring to awaken. As the sun's first rays strike, there's no time to waste. They take to the skies in the millions, all synchronized to find a mate. For the females, there's no shortage of options. But for a male monarch in Mexico, finding a partner means the ultimate sacrifice. Whether the males succeed or not, it's their last week on Earth. This is a male, easily identified by the two black spots on his wings. He needs to mate, and soon. His luck is in. A female. And she's alone. He whisks her away from the surrounding chaos, then injects her with sperm. He also donates a cocktail of nutrients to assist her in pregnancy and her long journey ahead. He loses up to one third of his body weight in the process. An overzealous male can overdo it and cause a female to explode. Not this time. Now carrying hundreds of fertilized eggs, this female and millions of others like her must embark on the second leg of their epic migration. They'll fly 900 miles back north, through Mexico and into the United States. There, they'll find food and a safe place to lay their eggs, which will give rise to the next generation to continue the journey north. As for the male, his journey ends here. His mate has literally sucked the life out of him. But his great-great-grandchildren will be the next super generation. The ones strong enough to fly 3,000 miles back to these ancient fir trees of Michoacan. <laughs>